Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is Professor Dr. Madhya Malik and I have done my postdoctorate from Northwest University, South Africa. And currently I'm working as professor and uh, director of pharmacy department uh, at Hamdard University, Standard campus. Today, I would like to discuss a very important topic, which is basically the prime issue of Pakistan. That is patient-centered evidence for health resource allocation, health equity, which is a priority uh, for Pakistan. If we talk about Pakistan, the total average health expenditure is less than 3% of the country's total GDP. And the, the allocation is of very limited healthcare resources in Pakistan has led to different issues of equity, access, accessibility, and fairness. The total public health healthcare expenditure is just 0.9% of the total GDP, while only 27% of the population benefits uh, from the full healthcare coverage and 60% of the population lives in the rural area uh, uh, in where there lies the problem of accessibility and affordability for healthcare uh, services. And uh, as you know that the health, that the literacy rate for Pakistan is quite low and Pakistan ranks like at 113 out of 120 countries. Now this has called uh, for patient-centric model for improving resource allocation and patient access. Now, uh, to, um, uh, basically, uh, now to basically achieve uh, this um, objective, uh, there is an organization with the name Eurocall uh, Group, uh, which is the top among the top three healthcare, uh, healthcare organization of the world who are working upon the health coverage of the universal health coverage model. And they, develop, they have developed that in more than 90 countries of the world. And they are basically using patient uh, preferences, population and patient preferences model, different models. They have their methodology and which has led to improved decisions and in uh, which has led to improved decisions. And in return, they have been able to develop the health, they have been able to develop health technology assessment systems of the world, as well as they have improved universal health coverage around the globe. So their focus is basically on health, on your health day, and quality of life is the basic, it forms the basis of these um, uh, healthcare modeling, uh, starting from health, from health index, and then there is a poly uh, calculation, which is being done in, uh, on the basis of different using different multinational clinical trials and two important techniques that is the WAS that is visual analog uh, scale and time trade off techniques that is the TTO techniques are basically used which are uh, which help uh, us to develop population based uh, models based on patient reported outcomes. So how it help us to or how it helps to basically uh, how it helps the country to basically include such modeling in their uh, uh, in their healthcare system it provides with an opportunity of choosing between alternative treatments for a healthcare technology or even for a healthcare service or it tells us how to allocate healthcare budgets to that uh, based upon the uh, of, upon the patient preferences and the needs which uh, suits best for all the patients and it also tells that uh, the drugs or the health technology which have been introduced into the market are they really good value for money and it helps to you know add uh, and ensure the benefit and cost of healthcare effectiveness uh, healthcare effectiveness by introducing the good value for money in the healthcare system so the need of the R for Pakistan is to improve its healthcare resource allocations and patient access and as till date uh, patient uh, as they did health outcomes are purely based on clinical endpoints but now we need to consider patient reported outcomes if we really want to have a good healthcare uh, system which uh, provides a universal health coverage for all and improves the accessibility and affordability of healthcare services. So for in this context I contacted Eurocall in 2019 and there were uh, the 22 countries all across the world applied for the funding and the 11 countries got the funding and I applied on behalf of Pakistan and I got that funding and this was the key which helped me in to develop uh, the healthcare uh, model based upon the population preferences using TTO and DC techniques. Uh, the, that is the pure uh, protocol of Europol um, and we were able to develop that for the first time in Pakistan. So the primary objective of the present study were to examine acceptability and feasibility of using these techniques 
and the study protocols with the Pakistani population. And if I talk about the methodology, the methodology was purely uh, based upon the protocol protocol, and that was a multi-centric population based in Pakistan, and it has got two components, that is the quantitative component, which consisted of protocol portable valuation study techniques and using the TTO and the DC. And the other component was qualitative, which, in, which uh, was based upon different qualitative interviews. And 300, uh, uh, the sample of 300 was achieved by using purposive sampling. And uh, we used like 3,125 health states based upon the five important domains that were mobility, self-care, usual activity, anxiety, and uh, pain. 28 hypothetical health states of uh, varying severity levels were grouped in 10 blocks with 10 health sta states per block using a composite PTO approach. And for DC, 60 pairs of health states were grouped into six uh, blocks with 10 uh, pair each. And regression analysis was carried out for predicting the health value database for Pakistan. So this is basically the TTO value for literate and illiterate uh, respondents. This is a model basically based on TTO value for both. This is a model, DC model, uh, which is uh, basically uh, is, is the estimates for illiterate as well as illiterate respondents. And we also calculated the odd ratios of the health domain severity for illiterate and illiterate. Although the original model is quite complex, but due to the limitation of time, I've not been able to show all the models here, but these are the this is the basic model which I'm the results which I'm share, showing uh, over here and on the basis of the results of this study it confirms the accept acceptability and feasibility of using these preferences in this um, uh, elicitation methods uh, with the Pakistan population so how it would contribute to the healthcare system of uh, Pakistan basically provide a basis for drug reimbursement decisions uh, using the economic evaluation of health technologies and it will also help to integrate the healthcare system based upon the patient reported outcome which in which in itself is a big step towards patient integrity and you know it will help us to engage patient uh, it will help us to engage patient in the healthcare system of Pakistan so uh, the present research shows that in marrying and valuing these health state, Pakistan can be compared with the leading countries uh, across the world. But as this is the first step, it, Pakistan has still to deal with model cost data effectiveness. But this research shows that although we have taken the first step and we are moving towards the comprehensive HTA methodology, which we can uh, develop in a very short time span, rising at international level. And the finding also tells that the activity and mobility they mentioned were the most effective, which the more which most effective utility, which could be considered by the government of Pakistan by designing uh, different policies and uh, allocating the budget uh, for different uh, domains, and especially uh, looking at the uh, disability terms. There should be certain interventions and uh, healthcare budget allocation quota for the uh, disabled. And moreover, anxiety and mental health uh, problems were identified the uh, highest among uh, the Pakistani population, which also calls for need of infusion of psychiatrists and mental health uh, professionals in the national health insurance schemes. Uh, I'm very glad that, uh, that the government of Pakistan has recently also taken a very great initiative of developing mental health policy, which is an initiative led by the president of Pakistan. Uh, Dr. Rade Falvi uh, for the first time and I hope that uh, this uh, basically value sets will also help us to develop cost-effective economic models which uh, fits best in the Pakistan healthcare systems and uh, which will help to uh, strengthen our universal health care uh, healthcare coverage model which has been recently introduced by the government of Pakistan and accessibility, affordability and equity issues will be resolved for the uh, population of Pakistan. Thank you very much and your questions are welcome.